so in the last video, we left off at talking about how to make a function. So we wrapped up our square in a function and that way we were really easily able to use the square. And this way we can use the square as many times as we want and it's very easy. So what? Uh, let's do something cool. So I said, let's talk about the idea of arguments or parameters in a function. So what we want to be able to do is let's say that uh, instead of 100, what if we wanted to move a different length every single time? So let's say we don't want to be boring and just move, um, I don't know, 100 steps. So let's take a look at it. Let's say we don't want to move. Oh, I didn't call it anywhere. Let's call it again. And I'm going to remove this line here. Okay, let's run it. Okay, and let's say we don't want to be boring and make a really small square like this. Let's say we want to maybe go uh, 200 steps. Okay, so let's try it. Let's go 200, uh, 200, 200, and 200. And let's take a look at what that looks like. Nice, the square looks better. Uh, let's try to tweak it a little bit and let's make it, I don't know, 240, uh, 240, 240, 240. Hmm, let's see. That looks pretty cool. But what if I wanted the turtle to go all the way to that edge perfectly and then go down and then go to the left and then come back up? Okay, let's uh, let's uh, try something. Let's try 280, 280, uh, 280, 280, and hopefully, oh, oh, it's still not hitting the exact. Uh, so maybe let's try 290 or something. So I hope that you're seeing that we have to change these values here a lot, right? We have to change it every single time. And we have to change all four of them in all of those locations, which is kind of annoying. So how can we make it so we don't have to constantly change all those values, um, you know, again and again, it's kind of really frustrating. So we want to make it so we just change it one time and it changes it everywhere. So let's say, um, I don't know, let's call it n. Okay, let's make it a variable that's the same everywhere. So let's just call it n. And I'm gonna make a variable here and I'm gonna call it n and I'm gonna say go 250. Okay, so now everywhere n is, we have 250. Okay, so let's try to run this bad boy now. Okay, cool, 250. Let's make that really small, let's say 50. Okay, that was really small. So that's pretty cool. We were able to use that and that made our life really easy. But a lot of the times, we don't wanna change the function itself, like the definition of the function. Here, its job is to make a square and that's all it should need to know how to do. Uh, and we wanna be able to give it something which based on which it changes um, it changes the length of it, right? So like how far it goes or how big the square is, okay? Maybe you can think of it like, um, in English, if you have a definition of a word that you look up, once you learn that word, you can use it in whatever way you want, right? It really depends on the context. For example, if you wanna say, wow, man, you really killed it. You're basically saying, you did a really good job and you did amazing. Or if you said, oh man, you just really killed that thing for me. You know, you really killed it for me. I, I don't even find it fun anymore. Now you're using it and it, uh, now the context is basically that somebody really made something less enjoyable for you or discouraged you in some way. So the word kill in this case, right? It has a completely different meaning, but based on the context, we change it, right? Well, depending on what context we give it, we change the word kill. But we shouldn't actually go and change the definition of the word kill every time we wanna use it in a different context, okay? So what I'm trying to say here is instead of changing the function itself, let's do something really cool. Let's give it context, okay? So I'm gonna say square takes in some input n. So whatever n I give it, it just puts that in here. 
And instead of calling it n, let's make it more fun and call it length. So everywhere I see n, I'm just gonna replace it with length. So now the cool thing that's gonna happen is if I give it the length of five, everywhere it sees length, it just replaces it with five. If I give it the length of, let's say, uh, I don't know, 200, it'll go everywhere and replace everything with 200. Okay, that way we'll get a longer square. So let's try it. If I run this right now, I'm gonna get an error and let's see why. Okay, I got an error and the error says type error. S the function square, right? That's what the parentheses afterwards it means. Missing, that is missing one required positional argument length. So we're, we're supposed to give it something. We're supposed to give it context, right? Like the word kill, we gave it context and it changes the whole meaning of the thing. So here in square, we're gonna give it the length. So let's say for length, we say 100. Okay, now let's see what happens. Let's run it. And we get a square that it goes 100 in each direction, right? So what just happened? We passed in the 100 here, which really passed in the 100 here, right? And since it was 100 here, it became 100 everywhere else. And so we got a square that was a size 100. And we can effectively do the same thing. If I give it uh, 300, that's probably not even gonna fit on the screen. Oh, it pretty much does. It makes a bigger square, right? So now the only place I have to change it is really here. This thing's job is to now just make a square. That's all it does. And here we can tell it what how big that square should be. So let's say that we say make a square of uh, you know 300 and then make a square that's, uh, I don't know, 150 and then make a square that's 100, okay? Let's see what that does. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's 300, that's the 150 and that's the 50. Whoa, that was cool, right? That kind of, uh, it was, it seemed like it was about to make some kind of design right there. Okay, so hopefully you guys have a little bit more of an understanding of how arguments work. Uh, just to take it maybe one step further, what if, think what if instead of these 90 degrees, you wanted to be able to change the degrees? Maybe we can go in here, huh, and say angle, right? And replace everywhere we see 90 with angle. And so now we have to give our function not one, but two arguments, okay? So let's say 300 and 90. So the 300 will replace the length part. So everywhere there's length, it'll replace that with 300. And the 90 will replace angle. So everywhere it says angle, it'll replace that with 90. How cool is that? So let's run this bad boy and check it out what it looks like. We've seen the square before multiple times, 300. But now let's add a twist. Let's make this uh, 45 degrees. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, I don't even know what it did. Let's reduce the length so we can at least see what it does, right? Let's run it. Whoa, that's kind of cool. It didn't make a square. It did something weird with it. Okay. So I'm foreshadowing multiple arguments and in the next video, we'll talk more about it. All right, guys, I'll see you there.